Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll be taking around more of Taiwan. We're checking out three places, Raifeng, Shifen, and Jiaofen. But first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Sebastian, and I'm a medical student from Australia. And I'm really excited to show you how Shifen and Jiaofen, that were once originally mining towns, have now become iconic Taiwanese destinations, and show you some of the cool things that we find along the way. Hey guys, so we're on the train to uh, Sifen Liao and then Jiaofen, which is a whole town. Okay, and can you describe what the town is like? It's around Sifen, it's near Pingxi, and there's a bunch of waterfalls and walks, and also a place where you can let us stack the sky lanterns on the train tracks. And then Jiaofen is like an old town, so you have like a lot of lantern districts and little alleyways with little shops, and also a few tea houses around the area. What's the guy that creates the animes? So some of you guys may know Hayao Miyazaki. Hayao Miyazaki, that's the one. So he was an animator who created a lot of Studio Ghibli films, and they think that he may have based some of his Spirited Away themes around um, Jotfin. Cool. Maybe. Cool. So we just finished eating, and the train is probably going to take about an hour. Got off that. Um, oh, it's cool. we're, we're in Raifang, which is kind of like a stopover place for us. So we're just gonna explore for a little bit and then catch the next train on to Sifen. Alright, guys. We have a plate of a radish cake. Radish cake. Global bell. And also some. Uh, in milk and together it was only two dollars Australian. Yep, pretty damn cheap. Um, Alright, what does this taste like? Right. Oh. You like you it? it? I love it. So it's, it's like it's an interesting flavour. No, it's really good. Tell us at home. So it's like crispy on the outside and kind of soft and fluffy on the yeah. inside. And a little bit of bacon and rice inside. And it's quite it's so good. It's warm. Oh. Hmm. We're on this like cute little street and I don't think a lot of tourists go to this spot because if you don't really speak Chinese, it's hard to communicate around so luckily Deborah can speak. Hey, what's your thoughts? What do you rate it? I think it's really good. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Hello, we're going to leave Freifang and we're going to go to Sifen. We are in Shifen Old Town, so it's like these markets that are built on the railroad tracks. So people have to jump out of the way when the train comes, and we're actually in the first gift shop already. It's so cute. Hi. <laughs> How's the move? The bubbles move around. Hi. Check your phones. Hi. 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 Everything. <gasps> oh, too many cuddles. We're trying to take refuge in the shaded areas. You can see that there's the mountains behind me, and they stretch far and wide. It's pretty busy here. There's a lot of um, locals and a lot of tourists. So we fall into the latter category. Gonna have a look through. <laughs> A uh, ice cream in a little spring roll wrap. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> Soy, it tastes like a soy milk ice cream. Pretty good. Some candy peanuts. A bit of like a sorbet ice cream. Really cold. Probably shouldn't get it during winter, but uh, <laughs> otherwise, everyone gets it when they're here, so why not? Hey guys, behind me is the rail. And you, know, you just have the shops in the rail, and the train goes through, and it's kind of different. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're on our way to the Kiffin um, waterfall. The waterfall. It's a 30 minute walk and it's very rainy. And I don't want to bring my camera during the little trail. So I'm going to put it away. We're going to make our way over there and I'll take some shots and I'll show you it when we get there. So where are we there? Um, we're on the way halfway to the waterfall. And it got too rainy and it got too wet. Now we're not going to, we're not going to make it so we're going to turn back. And behind us is like the scenic area. and. <laughs> You got like a bridge, a train, a creek, I don't even know, but there's taxis going past us, we're on like the middle of the road, but the water park's too far away, we're not going to make it, so... Waterfall. Waterfall's too far away, so I'm going to make our way back now, and probably light up a lantern soon and get out of the rain. Hey guys, we just bought the lantern, and yeah, we're going to paint it now, so we're going to do the... Um, write something special about it. The combination that we got was... So we got four colours. Four colours, which mean... And we got um, health, bright health, future, bright future wealth. We got wealth. Wealth, oh, wealth and, and study. study. So those are the four qualities that we got and we're going to light it up, write something about it. So, so you pretty much you use the ink and you paint whatever wish you have for each category onto the colour. Yeah. <laughs> and then you light it up and you let it go and it's meant to make your wish come true. There you go. Study. For the sake of learning, not for exams. Consistency. Special shout out to my boy Anki for saving me this life. If you haven't already, check out Anki as a program. It's a very good study tool. Not for med, but just for languages and anything else. Are you releasing it? The rain's kind of stopped a little bit. One Okay, that me one 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 Whoa! Actually, that's pretty cool. So you just um, released it? Yeah, so that's pretty cool actually. They were all really, really nice. They took so many photos for us. Um, we got a video of the lantern being set off as well. It's one of the ones up there. So our wishes have been set off to this <laughs> We're going through it's like this bridge. a massive know, bridge a little bit. So it's this big 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 gate thing behind us and there's also a bunch of like lanterns being released because there's a lot of people here a lot of tourists Deborah's over here freezing her bum off so <laughs> right so we're making our way to cross this bridge so it shakes a little bit some people might find that scary but it's pretty fun yeah just have a look around me like it's the place is absolutely beautiful Deb yes. Taiwan Taiwan number, number one, one. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but there's lanterns going behind me. There's a bunch of them flying in the distance, which you might be able to make out. And I'm not really sure where this leads, to be honest. We're kind of just Crossing, following the trail. Nice video. Because it's a nice video and it's a very nice like place to just look and capture photos. Yeah, it's been a fun place. This is a really nice town district um, by the railway. And I recommend if you can check it out, check it out because the releasing the um, lantern was really cool and there's so many people doing it here now as you would have seen and Deb's just printing off one of the photos that we got with our package and the rain's actually kind of stopped pouring is hard now so that's really good Hey guys, we just got to yes. Jiaofen. Yeah, close enough. Close. 
Yes, yeah, so I went up the windy, the bus took us on a windy road up the mountain, and then we got off to pouring rain, and everybody's just huddled outside the bus stop trying to sort of take refuge on the shelter. So we walked up a little bit up the hill, and we're at a family mart now, just trying to sort of dry off and let the rain settle down for a little bit. And it's a super nice view outside. We're just having a quick bite to eat before we keep moving on. You can see that there. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> right, let's give this guy a go. Yeah. I'm very spicy though. It's a bit too spicy for my life. part of Zhou Fin, which is where all the lanterns and all the little stalls are. It's actually pretty packed, one second. It's very packed and it's like half raining still and this is not a completely undercover area so we're just trying to make sure that we're still not getting wet. Yeah, it's like all food places are what's not to love. Mm. Hey Deb, if you had to eat one Taiwanese dish for the rest of your life, oh no. what would it be? Choose one. Sweet. Or yeah. savory? Any, like one? Savory it had to, yeah, one. Anything. Anything. A single thing. Yeah. What would it be? Yeah. It would be like uh, Mao Wan. Mao Wan, which is like a glutinous meat dumpling with a sweet sauce. Okay. But I also really like a lot, which is like an oyster pancake. Oh, oh no, no, actually, Lu Dou, Lu Dou Fan, which is like a pork fat, pork belly braised meat dish. Okay. You just wipe that with your own. Get rid of the. Alright, guys, so we found this little tunnel. Taiwan sweet potato tea house. All the other tourists seem to be preoccupied going down the hill, so we're just going through here and see what's, where it ends. <laughs> So it's an actual tea house, we're probably not going to go inside because we don't have money and we're poor. But yeah, so it's a pretty elaborate entrance to a place where you can just sip tea, relax and I don't know, have a good time. Oh wow, oh, amazing. Alright guys, so we made it to the, um, the tea house that everybody goes after and holy crap it is windy and it is busy. But behind us is the view that you get. We're a bit dark, but I'm sure you can see the tea house behind us in all its glory. And we got the shot that we came for, for Jiu Fen. So we're not gonna get any tea ourselves, but I'm gonna try to get out of this rain. And we're gonna make our way back through the markets and back through the square, try to take a bus back soon. <laughs> Did you buy? Uh, good question, you know what it's called? It's like, we call it a nanyo bang. It's like a butter stick. But it's like a puff pastry thing. It's really crispy. I haven't had it in like 10 years, so I know how it is now. Okay. Good. Mm. <laughs> Average. <laughs> 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 We just missed the bus. I don't think I missed the bus. There's plenty. Okay, okay. Watch the bus. Did we just miss it. <laughs> Enough. All right, the bus is past us. But back to this. We're at the top on like a really cool observation point. It's a breathtaking view, really. Got back to the hotel after having some food, picked up some bubble tea on the way. It was a good day and we saw a lot of stuff and it was a really different vibe and a completely different feel to anything that I've sort of seen before. I hope you guys uh, liked the video, you found it enjoyable and if you did please subscribe and give us a like that really helps with everything that I do 
and comment if you had any more questions or if you've been to any of the places that I showed you. Um, in the future, I'm going to be doing more uh, Taiwan vlogs because I've got a few more days here, so I'm just going to record sort of everything that I get up to. And then Japan's coming up soon, so that should be a lot of fun. But thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. This is Sebastian. Stay sharp.